I didn't do a huge amount of camping uh, when I was younger, but the one trip that kind of stands out is I went to Yosemite uh, with my family once. Um, I was born in California and, and still have a lot of family out there, so that was kind of their, their yearly trip, and, and I went and joined them once, and uh, it was neat, obviously being out in, in the national park and, and seeing all the wildlife, but other than that, uh, the most RVing I've done is uh, usually during the Indy, Indy 500. When I'm not racing, uh, I usually like to spend time outdoors. I like to mountain bike, um, go rock climbing, play soccer, stuff like that. I've always been kind of a, an active guy and, and don't really like sitting, sitting on the couch or playing video games or anything like that. So I'm um, usually trying to do something outdoors. Favorite food to cook uh, would probably be something fairly easy. Um, maybe uh, pasta or kind of a stir fry. Um, not, I'm not a big chef, so uh, something pretty simple. The best hidden gem here at the track uh, is probably somewhere where not a lot of people get to go is I think uh, the basement of the museum. Um, they have so many cool old cars, pace cars, race cars from, um, you know, it, obviously the 500, but, but sports cars, NASCARs, all sorts of stuff. So, um, you know, I don't know how uh, everyone gets a chance to go down there, but maybe uh, if you ask Doug Bowles, he'll, he'll do you a favor and take you for a little tour. Racing legends who I look up to, um, there's, a, there's a lot of people I think that I admire um, some of the guys I'm, I'm racing against. I used to watch when I was young. Uh, you know, Scott Dixon, um, Dan Weldon was was a hero of mine. So, um, guys like that that were able to to win races in, in IndyCar were always fast, no matter what type of track it was, and, and obviously had had long, very successful careers. One thing I always have with me at the track. Uh, I guess I guess it'd be like my my iPad or something like that to keep me up to date, keep me entertained uh, when I'm when I have some downtime. <laughs> blindfolded or only my feet? Well, that's pretty tricky. Um, I guess I have to go with blindfolded because I'm not sure how I'm going to steer and use the accelerator with just my feet. I'm not that flexible, so uh, we have spotters. Uh, I'd have to heavily rely on my spotters, but uh, I guess I'd go with blindfolded. I don't really have any pre-race rituals. Um, you know, I know some guys are kind of superstitious. They have to get in the car always from the right side or put their left glove on first, but for me, um, you know, just kind of like to have a few minutes to myself to think about what I'm going to do. And other than that, it's, uh, yeah, pretty, pretty relaxed. Oh, Favorite road trip destination would probably be somewhere um, by the beach. You know, I, I grew up in Florida and we used to go down to the beach a lot. So, um, you know, whether it's a beach in Florida or a beach in California or, or anywhere else, I always like being near the water. Mm -hmm.